Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing this video today on uh, 1000 kilometers updates for you guys. And that's down in the States for you guys, that's 650 miles. So I put 1000 kilometers on my uh, Fulcrum 5s. So this is the wheel set that I'm using here, a uh, Fulcrum 5. And uh, my Pinarello came with the, uh, that's the brand that I'm using. So my Pinarello came with the uh, Fulcrum 5. And uh, they're pretty much down lower budget wheel set for your uh, road bike. And I wanted to do a little uh, update, a review at 1000 mark, and let you guys see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to talk about wear and tear on the sidewalls. I'm going to talk about the spokes. Uh, I'm going to talk about any maintenance that I have done over here. So like you see, I'm going to cover three, four points on the wheel set and how they have performed in last 1000 kilometers. So uh, by the way, if you find this useful, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so other people can see this. And at the same time, what I will do for you guys, I'm going to include the link uh, on Amazon where you guys can purchase the wheels and I get a tiny bit of commission. It helps me keep the channel going and you guys can benefit as well by ordering through the online. So anyways, the first thing that I want to talk about is the, the sidewalls. Uh, this is my uh, third uh, modern uh, road bike. And I'm, and I'm going to rate it that the, the sidewalls of the fulcrums have held up pretty decently. Now I'm going to just kind of zoom in here and show you. But uh, if you look what I'm talking about here, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, this is what you see here. This is just the, the gunk from the uh, brake calipers over here, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, so uh, you guys can see now after 1000 kilometers, what kind of wear you're going to have if you get these wheels. Uh, uh, you can pretty much see that they will last you quite some time. So definitely wanted to kind of start off here with the side walls. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to talk about now these stickers. See, uh, if, let's see if you don't want them on. Uh, let's try to zoom in here. These are just the stickers. See, uh, with the heat gun, they can be peeled off. So if you guys are, uh, if, if you mind the stickers uh, on your uh, wheel set, they can easily come off. And now speaking about the uh, uh, stickers, I do clean the bikes. Uh, I mean, I do clean the wheels quite often and I'm going to include the link in the description how I clean them but as you can see here under the side vaults uh, they have held up pretty pretty nicely so there's no scuffs here uh, even I have the tiny stickers here that uh, let's get this guy to zoom in that mention about the specs so everything is in pretty decent uh, condition here everything looks uh, pretty new I would say so again I give them a thumbs up after 1,000 kilometers. Uh, cosmetically, believe it or not, they do look brand new, you know. So if, if that's your concern, I wouldn't worry about it. Now, let's go into the uh, uh, spokes. Uh, here in Canada, the streets are kind of, the roads are okay. So I do push my bike from time to time. But uh, all the spokes on it that I have here are the original as you can kind of see, they're black on the outside, they are uh, dark on the inside. So all the spokes on here are, are original. Uh, the, the wheel set was never trued. So I'm going to try to spin the wheel and show you how it performs. But uh, like I said, I do have the original nipples here and the spokes. So uh, I have zero maintenance done when it comes to truing the wheels. So keep that in mind. If you buy them uh, here in Canada or Toronto, they cost they, they charge you fifteen to twenty dollars to throw the wheel. So if that's your concern uh, here with these wheels, that's not an issue here. So I'll give it a thumbs up when it comes to truing. Uh, let's see if I could spin the wheel and let you guys look at the uh, the pad here. Uh, so let's see how they perform. Pretty, pretty perfect. So, like I said, uh, I didn't notice. Uh, I didn't notice any uh, uh, wobbling that I would 
take them to the store, uh, shop, and get them chewed. So that's something definitely that I really like when it comes to these wheels. And again, low maintenance on the chewing. Now I'm gonna quickly touch on also on the uh, hubs. You see here, uh, these wheels come with a pretty decent size of the hubs. Uh, in last uh, thousand kilometers that I put onto them, I haven't done any kind of uh, maintenance whatsoever. Uh, I would just clean them. Uh, again, uh, this here that you see is just the sticker. So this is the uh, uh, the fulcrum sticker that can that can come off in case if you don't like their style or design of the sticker. But uh, speaking about the maintenance, uh, they, they I believe they come with the uh, uh, sealed cartridges, so they're pretty easy on the maintenance. If you're not gonna be spending money uh, putting the new grease, uh, repacking them like on old school bikes. That's definitely not gonna be an issue here. So I would give them pretty uh, thumbs up on the maintenance. Uh, again, uh, the uh, skews here have, have held up pretty decently, pretty easy to come on. So uh, that's pretty much that. So again, I'm pretty happy with my choice. And those are the main points that I look when I review my wheels and how good they're holding up. And that's pretty much that. I hope you find this useful. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.